Greetings everyone, this is a very impromptu video, but this is important. This is uh, Classic Doom, this is the last level of Episode 1, Knee Deep in the Day. And yeah, I'm playing with codes because I just want to make a point here. This is what the level is supposed to look like. Right, you get to the, uh... You get to the end of the level... And... And, and, and... You work your way up to the boss, and oh my god, it's, it's the bosses! Whoa! So, you know, I cheat, I beat them. And then you go to the end of the level, right? So you do that. Again, I'm cheating wholesale because I just want to make a, a point here. So you step into the teleporter, even if you have invincibility, it's turned off, everything goes badly for you, and you die. But that's the end of episode one of Classic Doom. I'm about to blow your mind right now because I'm going to show you something brand new. Here I am at the end of level seven of Classic Doom. Here's something that's going to blow your freaking mind. Phobos Anomaly. Well. If you could believe it, John Romero himself, one of the creators of Doom, created Episode 1, Map 8B. Today, the day I'm uploading this, Classic Doom has a new level. It's the same music and it's still episode 1 M8, but this is a different Phobos Anomaly. I don't know what this is at all. I'm still using codes just for the sake of showcasing the level, but like, oh my god. I have no idea what's going on. This isn't creatures teleporting it. This is entirely. I can't even hurt that because I can. This is entirely new. Also, I'm running this on Z Doom, so you get a little smoke coming from my rocket unnecessarily, but whatever. Th I, I, this is crazy. This is new old Doom. Like, I'm just messing around for the sake of looking around, but there's no telling what could be coming up at all. What's interesting is that in the text file for uh, this this wad that uh, John Romero put up, he said that this was something of a warm-up. For what? The, the upcoming new Doom for current gen consoles? I don't know. All I know is that this is incredible. Like, where am I? What is happening? I'm just dicking around, throwing my infinite rockets around, but like, Man, what is this? I need key cards? Like, the original level was just get to the boss and kill it, I guess. This is, I don't know what this is. I don't have that key card. I guess I'm going back inside. I don't have that key card. Maybe this? So I can fall into the slime and get hurt, but at least it's a blue card. So I have that now, I guess. Okay, so it takes me back around, that's what that's all about. But I can't stand on the platforms that I was on earlier, so I have no choice but to go back in or... die of inevitable... poison. Again, I have invincibility on, but still. Okay, so I'm at the start room. Where is the blue door again? This level's, like, I, I'm completely unfamiliar with this level, so who knows? 
And why in the world would I want this? Oh, I can, oh, I can walk on these high-rise platforms now. To what end? Where does this go? There's stairs to the right, I guess, but is this anything? Doesn't. There's a yellow card I can't reach. Do I make that jump? It looks like I do. This is crazy. All right. Not getting distracted by an imp. Hmm. I wonder. Did that work? There we go. I D S P I S P O P D. I still remember that. The the no clipping code. Is it possible to make that jump? Yeah, it is. Okay, I just blew it the first time. Just get rid of extra chaff. Man, I don't know what anything is. Doom 1 of all games in the world with a brand new level, official level, or at least a level made by an official creator. This is kind of magical. Oh, I bet you this is for the yellow card. Uh-huh. I like how I actually get a window view of this. Alright, back outside I suppose. Well, you know how this is supposed to go. I'm supposed to go back around through the building, but I don't feel like doing that. You know what that would have been, so here I am. I've been here before, so I can do it again. I cross the bridge, get myself a yellow card. I don't know what this is here for. Aw, well that's okay, I can still stand here. So, the yellow card area was yeah, there we go. Okay. This is mesmerizing. Oh, tricky jump. I'm assuming that was just my poor platforming that made me fall off. There we go. Of course I'm way late the moment I walk in. This is a much more level-based level than boss-based level. I wonder if it'll even have a boss at this rate. Although it is giving me a rocket, that makes me nervous. This is one of those cases where they're really weak enemies, but there's just a thousand of them, which is why they're scary. Alright, I'll be in there later. Or maybe now. It looks like there's nothing to see here. of armor out there, glowing cracks. Oh, they give me an invincibility spear? I don't even think that was in... I'm pretty sure that was not at all in episode 1 of Doom 1. It may or may not have been in Ultimate Doom, but I only really remember it popping up in Doom 2. It was absolutely not in Knee Deep in the Dead. Cheat and get some more ammo. Oh, hello. So that's my excuse to walk in there. They actually have an anti-radiation uh, suit. Also, there's nowhere else to go, so I guess I'm going in there. I saw a switch to my right. I'm not gonna pick up the suit just because it'll tint everything green, and I'm already cheating, so it's not like... I'm not getting hurt, or I am getting hurt, so... I'll just keep your color normal. How do I get up there, though? Like, I can't reach this. Looks like we have ourselves a mystery. I don't know, like, I can walk in here, but so- oh. What? I activated something. Oh, up there. Is that anything? I can't get up there. I don't know, I'm not solving my problem here. Oh, wait a minute. 
And this little pocket isn't... Whoa, that's some map, jeez. What was the... IDB hold? L. There it is. Aha! My memory serves me well. Apparently I wasn't here before. Guess I'll go in. Are we not going back up? Alright. Guess I'll just go back the long way. Which frankly isn't that long, but you know. But at this point I don't know what to do. I guess there's a new area here. I'm slowly unlocking the level, I guess. I'm higher up now. Whoa! So that was the guy at the other... who was above me when I was in the entrance of the room. So the run over. I see how it is. I can't type it like I used to. There we go. I'm just gonna go back and try it again the, the real way. Huh? Uh, wow, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good at video games. Oh, because I walked on the enemy. That's a dick move. There it is. I typed it right that time. Haha. -ha. Okay, so sprint all the way across, I guess? God damn it. What happened to my skill? There we go. Okay, I'm across. There, now I'm all the way up here, and I see a switch over there, which I guess I forgot about before. However, it might not matter. What's even over here, though? Do I just pop in this other side? Oh, that, oh I land, that's how I land on here. Okay, I figured it out. So, let's just say I landed on there. Let's just pretend that never happened. Now what did I do? Oh, okay, I lowered this. There's my friend the red key card, so I can go... Oh, well, got the rad suit. Now I can go all the way back to presumably the beginning of the level, I guess. Also, what was this other switch? Oh, cool. Oh. Oh, gorgeous. That got me back here quicker than I thought. I think it was a secret. Now, where was the red door? I think it was outside. Like, near the yellow door, like, down that way. Let's take a look. I already got a rad suit, so the hell it'll pick up another one. The blue door leads outside. But it looks like this is the better way to go. Moving on across. There's what I want. Go away. Something was biting me. Oh. I'm a good shot. There we go. And I just passed the red door, but this is new. And there's all this outside here. I don't really care about that right now for the purpose of this video. Also, there's computer action going on over here. I could circle around this whole area. Okay, maybe I lied. Maybe I do care about this stuff. Yeah, I want in. Alright, let's go in. Good, rad suit's wearing off. But, looks like I found a dark maze. Invisible demons. Just goons, goons, goons. They are really saturating this area with enemies. It's crazy. This is really relentless. Like, you better be prepared for this level. So what's this? I'm raising something. What did I do, though? Let's cheat and look. If I can get a little light. Also, what I did might have actually been back in the other direction. Like, I can't tell. Is this anything? It usually looks like an elevator texture, so I don't know. I'm a little baffled right now. 
Is it back around all the way again? I can go back in the front way. I still can't stand on that. How am I triggering new enemies? I guess I open this stuff from here. Is this... There we go. Now we're talking. What just opened? Like, what did I do? Hey, guys. My god, enemies for days. Okay, so I'm across here, so I guess I would have had to thread the needle all the way back through the path I came in, and then double back around this way where I am now. Still, where am I ultimately going? Here's where. What did that do? Do I have to double back around again to see what I did? Oh. Okay, I'm out here. I'm on the other side. Rocket launcher. What have I done? Teleporting in enemies, fine. I'm playing on regular difficulty, hurt me plenty, so they're not... This is insane, though. They're not gonna infinitely spawn, but this is crazy. Like, how many enemies are there? That's really absurd. Can I join? No, so what, what am I doing? What's going on? Let's get a little extra light again. Shut them up. So what was this all about? Is that just... I guess I'm going to trigger something else outside. Fine. Go away. I gotta say, this is a really hard level. I'm not playing on Ultra Violence. I'm playing on Hurt Me Plenty. So this is brutal. Insert obligatory brutal doom joke here, I guess. So I did that, now what? Do I work my way back outside? Did I trigger the, the other thing on the outside perimeter? Whoops. I'm going back in the way I want to go in. Thank you. Oh. I could sometimes type it super quickly, I could sometimes not. What are you gonna do? Where you came from. Way too much shenanigans in this level. Also, I'm quickly getting disoriented because I'm just going directions. There we go. So now what? Did I do something outside, maybe? Huh? I'm thinking no, but I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do at this point. I appreciate the map, it's cool. No, you know, I'll go around the basic way again, that's what I'll do. Oops. That's where I came from though, I don't know. I'm ultimately going back to the same place. Like, what did my switch pressing actually accomplish? I'm back here now. Hooray. You know? Like, what good does that do me? I'm just gonna go to the other side. Huh. I don't know. I don't feel like I'm doing myself any favors. I went in here, I activated whatever the hell this was, and... and what? Oh. How did I even get here? Oh, it's just through the other side of the room. I didn't see the opening. Well, this looks important. This looks like boss potential. In fact, this looks like the two big red barons of hell. Hey, Called it. All right, all right. So what's in this room anyway? Don't even tell me. Okay, I thought there might be four barons of hell. I was like, whoa. For Doom 1, that's pretty crazy. I know that Doom is the game with a cyber demon, but Baron's a Really? Okay, no, not really. It's just two. But the Barons of Hell came first, and they were scary when you first saw them. So can I just go in? Or... Oh, you could just walk her through the walls! Oh, that's clever! 
Alright, let's get rid of him. With a weapon that I shouldn't have unlocked in this uh, stage here. So now what? Ah, we have this. What do I what do I have here? There we go. The final exit? Oh, a bunch of dead Doom guys. That's clever. And this must be the end, with a teleporter that I don't think you ever really see until Doom 2. Or at least past Doom 1 Episode 1. This will probably trigger the ending. Yep, invincibility off. I'm just in a red room and dead. Once you beat the big badasses and clean out the moon bin... Okay, it's the same message. Well, that's really cool. Yeah, this was a, uh, a brand new Doom level. An alternate version of Phobos Anomaly in Doom 1 Episode 1, Knee Deep in the Dead. Created by John Romero himself. You could check out his uh, Twitter account to get a link to the level. And um, I'll link it uh, myself in the description. So, I hope you enjoyed this look at a crazy new level on... I don't like like an over 20 year old game from his original creator. That's freaking amazing. So thank you for watching, and uh, until next time, everyone.